Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. Elementor version 2.6 is out and it's packed with many features, but the most important features are the icons, which are basically font awesome 5 icons and SVG support natively. But here are the 5 things that Elementor didn't tell you about Font Awesome 5. They are native to Font Awesome 5 and these are cool features that you can use without actually writing any single piece of code. Let's get into the video. So coming in at number 1 are inline icons. We all know how to get icons by using Font Awesome 5. I taught you that in the Font Awesome 5 tutorial. But now that we have Font Awesome 5 native to Elementor, I'll show you how to get icons inline. By inline, I mean within the context of your text editor. It can be any widget. So let's say you want an icon just here. How do you do that? Well, Elementor would suggest you to go with icon box widget or icon widget or whatever. But you can do it inline using a simple HTML hack. So the first thing that you need to do is to drag a dummy icon widget. So why am I doing this? You'll get to know. And pick the icon that you want to insert between the text inline. So let's say I just want to insert this icon. I'll just select this, click on insert. Now minimize the side panel, right click, inspect. So once you do that, you get the HTML or the code that you need to copy to get icons inline. So I'll just click on this once, command C or control C, I have the code required to display that icon. Now that font awesome 5 icons are native. So if your widget, it can be any widget, it need not be text editor widget. So any widget that has text editor in it, so if it has this visual and text interface, you need to switch, you need to click on the place where you want to insert the icons and switch to text. And once you do that, just paste. Just like that, you get your icons. See that here? So that's how you get inline icons using the visual editor. But few widgets don't have the visual text editor. They just have a plain content box. How do you do that? Well, let's drag in an image widget or image box widget. So it has a plain content box. How do we get icons in line? It's simple. You just paste the code that you need here. So I just pasted the code that I want and the space shuttle icon appears in line. So it's that simple. Want a different icon? Just click on this, change it here. So if you want SMS icon, I'll just click on this, click on insert again. Minimize this, right click, inspect. I now have the HTML for that. Or if you know, you can simply change the name to SMS and that will also work. The, I showed you that in Font Awesome 5 tutorial. So just copy the HTML code. So everything with the I tag and just go to the place you where you want the icon to appear. So maybe here, I'll just paste it just like that. I get my icons. See that here. So this is how you get inline icons and they'll have the properties of the text. Since you're editing them at inline level, they'll have or inherit all the properties that the text has in. And that's a cool way to use font awesome five icons in the context of your content. So a quick recap of the inline icon feature, any widget with the text editor or pure content area can actually show icons inline simply by taking the HTML and pasting it. If it's a visual editor, you need to go to text area and paste the code. If it's a normal content box such as this one, you can simply paste the code and that will make the icons appear on that particular context. So it's that handy. It works with all the widgets that have the content box or the text editor box. And that's really cool. And the second cool feature of Font Awesome 5 icons is the native animation. So in order to animate, there are basically two and types of animations that are supported natively. All you need to do is click on the icon, just go to CSS classes, type FA pulse and you can see the icon animates. And there's another animation that's supported natively. So if it's FA spin, so these icons spin just like that. You don't have to write any code just by typing these FA spin or FA pulse it makes the icons animated. So that's really another cool feature of Font Awesome 5 icons. These animations are really cool if you use an icon like a spinner. So just click on the icon library, go to all icons, just type for spin and pick the spinner icon. And if you add pulse, FA pulse or FA spin, watch what happens and how the icon behaves. So with FA spin, it just spins. Watch what happens when I type FA pulse. 
it looks like a loading wheel and that's a really a cool little effect which is built right into font awesome 5 icons and they're not limited to just the icon widget so anything that contains these icons even if it's social icons you can simply go to css classes type fa spin and the whole widget spins or animates based on the libraries defined in font awesome 5 so if i say if i pulse you can see the icon being animated over there it also works with other icon widgets or any other widget that contains icon so if i drag in an icon box i wouldn't suggest you to use this but you can simply have this animation if you want to for some reason so if you type if i spin into the icon box widget even that whole content spins just like that you can also do if i pulse with this these are libraries built into font awesome 5 elementor didn't write these libraries font awesome did so that's a really cool feature that Elementor didn't mention I was surprised to see that and the third cool feature in font awesome 5 is that you can stack icons well you can have stacking for icons but it's just limited to two shapes so if you change it to stacked you can either choose circle or shape or square but with font awesome 5 you can stack any two icons so one icon will be below and the uh, another icon will be above the icon so that creates a cool little stacked effect such as this one in elementor they are just limited to square and circle so you can have square or circle as a background but actually using a little bit of html will not actually write much of a code just the technique so that you can stack any number of icons so the first thing that you need to do is to add html widget or drag it wherever you want and the first class is to add span so add to span tags and the class for this will be fa stack so we're just saying we want to stack two icons and there can be any number of icons in between and additionally you can also have sizes for this icon or the for the whole stack i've again explained this in the font awesome 5 tutorial you can check that out or i'll show you quickly what you can do with stacking of the icons so once we have our html once we added our span tag such as this we need to get the icons within the stack or the icons that will actually form the stack so i just picked two icons from here again i showed you how to get the html of these two just minimize the side panel right click inspect and that will actually open the html of that particular icon such as this so you just click this once Control c or command c i'll first paste this tablet icon i think it will be a good stack so within this i'll paste the code for tablet icon the tablet icon just appears over there and next i'll paste the spinner icon i'll click this again minimize the side pane click on inspect or if you know you can simply change the class name and that will show the spinner icon if you know that well this is a dummy way of doing it so now i'll have spinner icon within the stack as well and after adding the icons of your stack you need to add one more class for each icon so the icon that you want on top will have fa stack 1x and the icon that you want to be the background of your stack will be fa stack 2x or fa hyphen stack hyphen 2x so it will be bigger so 1x and 2x right so 2x whichever has bigger size it will form the background and whichever has 1x or smaller size that will be the foreground so that's how the stack works but we don't see the spinner icon that's because the color of the spinner is the same as the tablet which is the reason why we are unable to see the stack icon we can simply change it by adding a little bit of css here so i'll say style color and i'll pick a color now you can see the spinner and the tablet clearly and after picking the stack or after forming the stack you can add a neat little class to the stack so you can size it as many times as you want so if you want fa10x you can do that if you want fa100x fa4x sorry it will be a number between 1 to 10 so if you want four times bigger stack so you can give it 4x if you want two times bigger stack you can get 2x here and best of all you can take this stacked or the stack of icons 
and paste it in line like I showed earlier. And now the whole stack acts as one icon. And the fourth cool feature in Font Awesome 5 icons, well, these act as text. So they're basically custom fonts. They act like custom fonts. So you can target them with all the properties of the text. So for instance, I can pick this icon. I can say selector. And within selector, I want to select I, which stands for the icon. I can change the color of the icon. So just like that, it changed the color of the icon, not just the color. You can target most of the text properties and they'll work just fine. So if I say font weight 300, you can see it changes the icon on to my right. So if I add a font weight of 400, so it looks something like that. 900, it's completely filled. 800, 500. 100. So it supports varying font weights and based on that you can achieve different styles and not just font weight You can also have a font style So maybe italic italic icons anyone here. So most of the properties will work More most of the text CSS properties will work with the font awesome 5 icons as well So that's really cool. Finally, you can use CSS to add icons anywhere the way you do it is by specifying the font family as font awesome 5 free and you need to give the unicode value of that particular icon how do you get the unicode value of that particular icon well you can go to fontawesome.com slash cheat sheet here you'll find all the unicode values so you can enter these to enter that particular content so you can use a pseudo element such as this one and then have a font awesome 5 declared as for your font family and you can change the font weight if you want to so you can change it to 100 or maybe 300 or 400 whatever you want so i'll just keep it at 800 and content you need to get it from font awesome cheat sheet some of the icons won't display because some of the icons are actually limited to the pro version so you need to use the icons or the unicode values of the free icons you cannot use paid icons here so pick any so it just appears there you can also have something like this. So on hover, you can have the icon show up just like that. So all this, all you need to do is to specify font family, which is font awesome five free, and then specify the content, which actually corresponds to the particular icon. So that's all you need to know. That's all you need to do to display icons wherever you want. And this selector can actually be any element. It need not be even this heading. It can be an image. It can be anything. So you can make these icons and you can style them using CSS the way you want. So maybe you can make them bigger. You can change the color and do whatever you want. So these are the five features that Elementor forgot to mention. And these are some of the cool things that I think you should do with Fontasm 5 icons. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.